Gregory the Scenario Douglas here, and here's the scenario. I haven't done a video update in a while, so here I am, everyone. As you may or may have not heard, I'll be appearing in Yobi TV's new web series called New Stage, alongside Jersey Shore's The Situation. That's right, I said The Situation. Picture that one. So as you can imagine, there's a new Guido in town, and he's far more pasty white than you'll ever want to be. This is just a tan from the summer, but this is not how it always is. I'll be playing myself in the series, even though it's technically a scripted show, which of course I'm really good at playing. The series airs mid to late September, I've been told, um, through the holidays, so keep an eye out for that and I'll certainly keep you posted with updates. In other news, I just released a new EP called Opaque, which is basically a five song EP accompanying the new album Lucid. Um, they're both available digitally on iTunes. Opaque is available exclusively digitally, um, but you can get hard copies as well of the new album, Lucid. Just like with every new album, I always have a, an overflow of songs and I'm not quite sure how to incorporate on the new album. So I always release an EP and, and it's really an incentive and available um, as, a phys as a limited physical addition to people who pre-order. So folks who pre-ordered the new album Lucid got a physical copy of Opaque. Now it is available to everyone digitally. For those of you who don't know or haven't heard the new album yet, it's called Lucid. It's a dream-themed concept album and it's something I've wanted to do for years. I've been a big Kate Bush fan since high school and she always has a lot of dream themes. Um, so I kind of wanted to follow suit and uh, Hopefully you find it to be as intriguing as it was for me to create. Again, they're both on iTunes and um, you can get a physical copies on cdbaby.com of the new album Lucid. The Opaque EP features a couple of duets, by the way, um, with Mary Fall, the former lead singer of October Project that I've done a bunch of shows with recently. She's really my hero. She's such a huge influence of mine. And I was fortunate enough to have her sing a song called Your Ghost With Me, which I actually had her voice in mind when I wrote the song. So it was extra rewarding in that sense. And the fabulous Lisa Piccarillo, who you've heard on past albums. Aside from working on my own music, I've been working with a couple of other fabulous, talented local artists and uh, producing their albums, which has really been a first experience for me beyond my own stuff. So that has been very rewarding. Myra Flynn just released her new album for the record. It's her sophomore album, and uh, it's really rocking, if I do say so myself. Check it out, it's on iTunes. And Francesca Blanchard, this is her first release. She released a, a new EP called Songs on an Ovation. And we all know that I strongly endorse the Ovation guitar. It's a really beautiful debut EP, and that's available on iTunes as well. Check them both out, they're both fabulous and it was really an honor and a pleasure to work with them both. I have a handful of shows coming up in September and October. Um, they're all Northeast based. I'm sorry I have not toured outside the Northeast in a while because I've been so busy pursuing other projects, but I will be at the University of Maine in Orono on September 16th. I'll be back at the Living Room in New York City on September 18th at Club Passim in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Boston area on September 28th with Alex Wong of Paper Rain Co, fabulous band, and Higher Ground here in South Burlington, Vermont on October 15th. <laughs> Sharing the stage again with the lovely Myra Flynn. So that's pretty much the scenario. Thank you for your ongoing support and I will certainly keep you posted on things. No one calls me the scenario, I just made that up. Or do they call me the scenario?